Well, good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, wherever it is that the Lord has you. I am Prophetess Rhea A. Doswell, founder of Sela Prophetic Ministries. I just want to do um, a quick update on ministry metrics, and I want to personally thank all of um, the partners and just those of you who have followed the ministry. For some, it's been over 14 years. So this is our praise report. This is why it's so important that when you are on social media, you have to look at social media as a tool, an instrumental tool by God to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. We, as of this week, from the Facebook ministry page to the ministry website to YouTube, we have ministered to over 37,000 people. That's a praise dance and a Shabbat right there. We have ministered to over 37,000 people. Those are souls and from different nations and different continents around the world. So I want to tell you, thank you for trusting me as a Christian leader online. I have a very deep conviction um, of what I represent in Selah Prophetic Ministries. It is not a tool to be used for gossip. It is not a tool to be used uh, to give false teachings, false prophecies, things that violate the, the word of God, to mislead God's people. It is a very serious instrument and God entrusts us with it. And he also monitors our behavior. He monitors whether or not we're ethical, whether or not we're professional, whether or not we have a heart of servanthood and stewardship to decide where we're going in the next chapters of our life. But I can tell you this, that I have honestly I'm um, given my all to be faithful, to be integral. I have been transparent. I have been vulnerable at times. I've had to learn what discretion is in, in, in terms of what you share, what you don't share. But I always wanted to be real. I wanted you guys to experience a real Christian leader. Um, I wanted you to see the good, the bad, and the ugly when things were glorious and when things were not, um, to role model to you what is it like to have a relationship and be divinely connected with people who are Christian leaders and we are real? I do not play on this platform. I do not misrepresent who Jesus Christ is or his word. My desire is that as you have experienced how the Lord has used me, that you have grown in your Christian walk, that you are more mature than what you ever have been, that you're endowed with the word of God, that you know the Holy Spirit, and that you're learning how to listen to him for yourself, for you and your households, and that you are aligning yourself with God's divine purpose and call. And so I just want to take this time to say thank you so much. We have reached 37,000 souls, and I give God all the glory, the praise, and the honor, but I praise God for who you have been in my life to trust me as a Christian leader. And some of you, yes, I've connected on a much deeper personal level. Some of you I've connected with professionally through Sila Consulting with Rhea D. So I just feel blessed and I feel honored um, to be able to interact with you, to be used by the Lord. And so these are the scriptures that I have for you. It's um, Philemon 1 6 it says and I pray that the fellowship of your faith may become effective through the knowledge and every good thing which is in you for Christ's sake and then we have Philippians 1 7 it says for it is only right for me to feel this way about you all because I have you in my heart since both in my imprisonment and this is the Apostle Paul speaking and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel you are partakers of grace with me and he was writing to those who had served and worked a Along with him why he was incarcerated and basically telling them thank you for their service towards him Philippians 1 3 says and I thank my God in all my remembrance of you so I pray that as you enter 2023 that you consecrate yourselves before the Lord I pray that the Lord endow you with wisdom with revelation and with knowledge uh, like you have never known for the coming year and as always um, as your sister in Christ and as a prophet is I want you to listen to the Holy Spirit keenly. So we're going to continue to build. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the outreach of Sela Prophetic Ministries over the last past, it's been over 16 years, actually. Um, we have supported missions in Nigeria. Uh, we have supported individuals in Kenya. And also, we just recently hooked up with Uganda. And I am looking forward, as the Lord leads me professionally, um, to be able to establish more and build and support international 
Regional Ministries because that has been near and dear to my spirit since I've been 16 years old and a call and a commission that the Lord has given me, but that takes resources to do that. But I love you in the Lord Jesus Christ. Continue to listen to the Lord. Love you. Bye-bye.